Let's see another very interesting feature of freeform design. As you may have remembered from the last video, we could be pushing, pulling faces, edges, or vertices of a mesh and also create smooth objects by the smoothing algorithm. We also said that we could convert that mesh into a solid and that would be interesting in order to apply solid operations, in order to make sections and to take that information into other applications like Revit or Inventor which make very good use of the solids. So let's go back to the conversion solid in AutoCAD in which it could be either faceted or smooth, in this case smooth with optimization so there are lots less nerve patches and let's take that information into Revit. What do we take it? We're going to take it to the massing environment in which I'm going to import the DLUG and here it is, very fast. I get the WG, I get the mass inside, I will finish the mass and I will start to apply conversions of faces into walls or curtain walls in this case. As you can see it's very easy. Every conversion to wall applies to one nerve patch so that's why it's important to have a very good optimization of nerve patches. Now we're going to do some curtain systems for two of the facades, here it is. And now comes one of the beauties of, of this workflow. Since we have a solid, we can choose the mass and cut floors on it, which is something impossible to do when you bring a mesh into Revit. So anywhere where you bring in a mesh from into Revit, you will just be able to create walls, and curtain walls and, and roofs, but never floors and if the walls are not vertical the creation of the floor will be very difficult. As we can see AutoCAD 2010 is a great front end for conceptual modeling into Revit.